welcome back to Homeowners Association of Oliver. That sentence made no sense. Uh, I'm, I, I'm gonna be building things, is what I'm trying to say here. I will build things. Also, it's super dark. Is this really the time to build? So, does it make sense to even build a habitat right above this place? It's really, really dark. Did I have a radio message? I don't think so. It's not blinking. Okay, let me build a habitat somewhere. Let me see. Where would be a good spot? Hold on. Can I actually build it just anywhere? Multi-purpose room. Ingredients unknown. Oh, I hate those sounds. L compartment. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I need this. X compartment. Oh, cool. Oh, I see. Okay, I can't build higher than that because this... Wait, I can. No, I can't. I can't. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me find a flat ground, I guess. Ah, oh, the music slaps. Have I been down there? Ooh, I kind of want to build a habitat inside a cave. That sounds cool. I want a cave habitat. I don't think I found a big enough cave yet, though. Although there was this really big cave next to one of the life pods. I have to go back there, actually. Maybe, actually, maybe I'll go there. Hold on. I want to build a habitat inside a cave. That is, that sounds so cool. Uh, which one was it, though? Stranded near a cave system and under attack. Activate that one. Put it on yellow. Here. I'm going. Let me grab some air before I go. That's how you sound like. Oh, yeah. Beat drops. Come on. Life putt 17. This is the one I already explored. Another big hole. Although the way this... This hole is angled. Like outwards like this seems to suggest... Something blue on the inside. But how is nothing inside broken then except this part? Okay, there, I guess there is something broke. Yeah, look. Something, yeah, and residue from an explosion, it seems. Something exploded in here. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Ow! Ow! Bastard! Right, I explored the cave on the right. I haven't been in this one yet. 30 seconds. Oh, okay, yeah, let me get some air first. Air first. There we go. I kind of want to construct a series of breathing apparatus. <laughs> if you catch if you catch that reference, let me know. We will construct a series of 
breathing apparatus out of kelp. And we will aggressively hunt you and your family. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> oh! Snakes! Oh! Yo! Oh! It went inside a thingy! Oh, that's disgusting. I don't want to go down there. Fuck me. That's nasty. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Are you talking about me being the artificial structure? No, wait, I'm not artificial. Am I? Hold on. Are humans artificial? No, we're natural. I don't know why I had to think about that. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. I don't want to go down there, man. It reminds me of the Super Mario 64 level where you go underwater and there's this big ass snake that comes out of a hole. That's always scared me so much as a kid. Oh, they're going inside the mushrooms. Oh. Nope. Nope. 30 seconds. In any case, I need more oxygen first. I do want to construct a series of breathing apparatus, though. Um, but for that, I need to go back to my life pod. C can you stop jumping up like that? My dude. Possibly predatory. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that at all. I don't like the sound of that. Although, wait a minute. If I build a base down here, then I will be able to breathe, right? These are rare. Let me grab that. Marking my path here. What is that? Hold on. Uh, I, 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 A, A. <laughs> it's a huge eye. I, 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 I. An extreme evolutionary adaptation where ninety percent of the life form's body mass is dedicated to the ocular cavity. Yo, what? Oversized eyeball. Deep set rings in the lens suggest specializations for identifying its predators in low light environments, long before they come into attack range. Underdeveloped fins. Incapable of fast movement, this species is vulnerable to agile predators at close range. Shark species may have evolved hunting techniques to close on the eye eye unseen from above below or behind. Yeah, I guess it can only look forward. This organism and the common peeper share a common evolutionary ancestor. While the eye eye has sacrificed maneuverability, it shares and enhances its cousin's powerful eyesight. The ancestral alpha peeper may have been one of the first life forms on 4546b to develop eyesight many millions of years ago. Assessment edible, low calorie count. Interesting. Interesting. The music. I'm afraid to turn off on my flashlight in case they see me. Oh man, actually I want to take you with me. Oh! I thought I just had chase music put on, you know, like if someone chases me, the music changes. Hold on. Magnetite. Magnetite is an iron oxide valued for its magnetic potential amongst other qualities. It is used in many federation technologies including sonar and torpedo systems. Assessment essential for advanced fabrication. Well, you're coming with me. 
What is this? Is that the eye eye? Speaking of the eye eye, the so I'm being reminded here of telescopes. Being a being an actual astrophysicist, uh, I, of course I keep thinking about these things, but like with such a big eye, it is able to capture very 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 faint light. You know, which is kind of a cool concept for for an animal. I mean, we don't know of any animals that have the, such big eyes, right? Compared to their body. And telescopes, I mean, we built them so big because uh, it uh, it allows them to capture more light, essentially. It's like a big bucket, you know, and you capture all the photons you can. The more photons you capture, the brighter the image. And you can imagine how important that is if you want to try and observe something billions of light years away. Extremely faint, but if you have a very big bucket, you collect way more of that light. Which is essentially what happens here. What the fuck is that? Hold on. What? There's a base here. Let me use it. It's rusted. Am I not alone on this planet? I mean, other than the other survivors, of course. Wait a minute, what? Oh! oh, yeah, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Oh. Wait a minute, what does this mean? How is this possible? Artificial structures detected, right? Fuck, where did I put my light? Over here? I see them. Oh, thank God for those discs. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 15 seconds? Oh, I'm fucked. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Oh. Oh, man, I think I just invented a new... A new talent, the ability to inhale half of 4546B in one breath. Holy shit. God damn. That was close. I don't have any food on me. I do have a peeper. No, an eye eye. Edible prey fish. Prey fish? Oh yeah, right. I was about to say they're not a predator, but it didn't say predator. What am I thinking? Anyway, my plan was to build... A habitat down here, but it seems someone had the same idea. And not only that, it seems someone had the same idea a long time ago. An impossibly long time ago, in fact. Unless things acquire... No. No, no, no. These cannot have been other survivors from the Aurora, right? Also, what's going on with that snake? It's like it's in a T-pose. The hell is going on? I see snakes in T-poses. You see this? Ah! Ah! Ooh! Go! Ah! I don't, don't look back. Don't look back. Ah! Okay. Ooh, the music! Oh, fuck this area so much. I'm so deep as well. Oh, fuck. 
What's that sound? Oh my god. <sighs> oh wait a minute. Oh, they're arrows! Look! Ah, oh, they're pointing to the next one. Amazing. I have to get out, I have to get out, I have to get out. I have to get out, I have to consume calories. And I gotta get back to base. Because I want to construct a, a series of breathing apparatus with kelp. <laughs> God, the music is incredible. I was not expecting this game to have good music. I don't know why I was not expecting that, but I just wasn't. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. Oh, the, the bass line. Come here. Come here. Hoopfish. Hoopfish. Peeper. Oh, I don't have any space. Damn it. I have to cook. Good thing is, I have a bunch of water stocked. Now, while I'm traversing like this, I feel like I should be exploring the sea floor. For potential... Um, things I can scan. And unlock. We have another tooth here. Let me drink some water. And I could eat the nutrient block. Let me eat the nutrient block. Fuck it. Vital signs stable. I'm taking the teeth with me. Quartz. Okay. Bible vital signs stabilizing. Radio's not blinking. Hold on. What was the last thing we learned on the radio? Oh, yeah. We got this clue. But we need uh, life pot four. No, we need life pot... What was it? Yeah, we need to find life pot four first before we can figure out where life pot six is. I wrote this down here. Alrighty. Maybe that'll come on a radio message. I need another battery for my flashlight. And what else do I need? So, here's the thing. Should I be building a base down there now, though? That's That place is way too dangerous for a base. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. You know, I'll build one right here. I just want to see how it works as well. This is, uh, this is just an experiment. Let's put down this. Oh. Oh, cool. Minus one to base hull strength? Why? Because I build it on sand, maybe? Maybe I should build it on rock. I don't know what that means yet. Let's make an eye compartment. Cool. Uh, glass compartment? L compartment? Sure, let's make an L compartment. How do I rotate them? Can I rotate them? Maybe by rotating my body. And trying different... Oh, the mouse wheel. I don't know what the point is of this right now, but I'm doing it anyway. Why can I not build it? Oh, it's, maybe it's too close to the ground here. Hmm. 
Minus one to base hull strength. Total now six. Oh, maybe there's a limit on how uh, how big of a base you can build. You know, that's probably what that is. I can make I can make six more modules or five, something like that. Let me get some air. Oxygen. You know what this thing I'm holding reminds me of? It looks like one of those head massagers. <laughs> oh. Oxygen production offline. Oh, this is cool! Heck yeah! Power zero. Yeah, I'm losing oxygen. Hold on. Verdict. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, that's cool! I can make multiple levels. Exterior modules. Air pump. That's what I need. Wait, what? Oh no, I still need power. Uh... Nope, I keep opening that. I need a solar panel. Just put it anywhere, really? Underwater? I mean, I see sun... I mean, maybe it'll work on the water, I don't know. Power restored. All primary systems online. Nice. Oh. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> Bro, the air pump sounds exactly like someone at the movies drinking the very last Coke. You know, sipping up the very last drops of Coke with all the little ice in the bottom. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Hold on, was I actually breathing in here now? That is an annoying sound. I am breathing in here. Deconstruct. Here's a question, do I get everything back? Or is there a loss? Hold on, I still have air. Power 26 out of 75? Um, interior modules. A locker. Let's make a wall locker. Here. Oh, wait. I have a genius idea. Let's make a locker for food. Oh, can I have a fridge, maybe? That will um, extend the life... The shelf life of my fish. Food and water. Actually, I want to drink one of the water. I also want to eat one of the fish. This is going to be my food locker. I don't have enough titanium to make another one. Food slash drink. Fridge. <laughs> this is awesome. I love it. I love this. I have a fucking underwater base. So here's the thing that doesn't make a lot of sense. The power is on and there's no sunlight. How does that even work? I mean, unless it powers up through the day and stores it in batteries. 
But wouldn't the power then go down over time? It says 26 out of 75 right now. I'm, I'm looking at that number to try and understand what's happening. Doesn't seem to be changing. What if I throw a disc in here? Nothing happens. Can I see glide around in here? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, okay. Um, nice, I have a fucking base! That's awesome. Um, the next thing I want to do is I have to explore that underwater uh, cave again. Even though there are snakes, I have to overcome my fear. I do have my sea glide, so I'm pretty quick. And maybe they only see with... Um, you know, maybe they only... Maybe if I keep my lights off, they won't see me or something. Tools. Or maybe I cannot use my sea glide. Maybe I have to swim quietly. You know, sort of like the thing from Outer Wilds. I, won't, I don't want to say what it was without spoiling it. And maybe I did spoil it a little bit just now, but sorry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that again. Um, right. Power 6%. Oh, my battery. Okay. I'm a little uh, overwhelmed what to do right now. Back to cave system. In fact, I, um, yeah, cave system, where are you? See, I swear sometimes these markers disappear. Like, there should be a yellow marker somewhere right now. Look, now it's back. Is that a bug, or is it because I was there, I explored it, so that the marker got removed? Oh, that's scary. Get away from me. I mean, they're not that scary. They don't really chase me, it seems. Maybe a little bit, but then they give up really quick. Ooh. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Oh! Fabricates vehicles from raw materials. Oh my god, I need to make that. Vehicles. Metal salvage. I love exploring these underwater environments. They're so well done. Like, the game is so beautiful and it runs like a dream. Right. We just got a message on the radio. Silver? Hold on, I need to... Uh I need some oxygen. And then I will go down there. I need to find a way to extend my oxygen while down there. I could make a habitat. But if I put a solar panel on it, it's not going to do anything. Because I'm in a cave. Presumably. I mean, I don't think it's going to work. If it does, it's silly, right? There's no way that's going to work. So, how do I do this? I think I do have to construct a set of breathing apparatus. With kelp. I am kidding, of course, when I say with kelp. It's just a stupid reference. <laughs> I want to make those pipes, essentially. Fuck it, let's just go. Let's just hurry. So, there are... Ancient bases. Wait, is that another one? Yeah, look.
Also, these look like they came from the Aurora. Cargo? Can I find the Aurora symbol on it somewhere? I just want to see. Are they from the Aurora or another Altera ship? Altera ship. Maybe we are not the first to crash land on this planet. Oh! Abandoned PDA. User Paul Torgel requested cross-referencing of local environment scans with ideal habitat construction conditions. Displaying results. Yeah, I want to know that too, actually. Large subterranean cavern with multiple entrances. Conditions support a unique microcosm of predatory life forms. Minor structural instability in cave walls. Ooh, that's bad. Well, I'll just say minor. Extensive resource deposits. Average environment safety rating C. Optimal habitat site safety rating B. Really? With all these predatory life forms? Site 7 has been selected as the optimal habitat construction site and the, for the following reasons. Close proximity to one of the cave entrances in case of emergency. Medium distance from predatory, predatory organisms. Stable foundations on which to build. Ready access to materials. A signal, tr a signal tracking the site has been created. A signal tracking the site has been created. Hold on. Environment log. The music is slapping. Ah. Oh. So a user called Paul Torgel was down here. And he was trying to find out some good construction, some ideal habitat construction lo locations. Presumably he's the guy who built all this. Wait, why is this... Floodlight? I can scan it. Why can't I scan this? The standard issue floodlight is designed to focus a bright beam of light in a single direction. Useful in all kinds of industrial and emergency operations. Functions in all known environments. Cool. Oh, sure. What else can I scan? Nothing. There's like a little symbol in the... Ooh, what is this? Also oxygen. Ooh, look at this fucker. Can I mine it? Gold! Special equipment is required to collect this resource. Oh fuck, I'll be back for you. Where did I come from? There, discs. I should put a disc here. For future reference... Let me follow the arrows. Uah, don't crash into the stingray. Or the manta ray. The manta ray equivalent. On 4546B. Also, I love that the planet is just called 4546B. <laughs> okay. Uah, let's go. Let's go nuts. We're in good time. Paul Torgel. Hold on, let me write that on my note here. Paul Torgel wanted to find a optimal habitat location. Who is Paul Torgel? Uh, Altera? I think he's Altera. Um, Aurora? And you may be thinking, of course it's not Aurora. How could it be? But hear me out. Maybe there's like a time travel element in this game. Maybe someone from the Aurora, not me. So I don't know when the Aurora crashed. Let's say it crashed four hours ago in game or three hours ago in game. I mean, I've been 
fucking swimming around around my life pod. I've been building things. I've even created habitats, right? It's not crazy to think that someone else from the Aurora are doing the same thing somewhere else on the planet. And maybe they somehow, while being here, uh, traveled back in time. You know? Maybe they traveled, maybe they found a fucking portal to the past. They traveled back in time and they were building habitats without knowing that they traveled back in time, maybe, because maybe the planet looked the same. You know? Um, and now I'm finding it. Oh, I hope I'm right. I love time travel elements. That was the first thought I had when I saw these. It was like, time travel. It's gotta be time travel. So I've been there. I wish I had like binoculars of some sort. Oh my god, I can go deeper. Oh. Oh. Hey, look at that one. Look. Oculus? It was infected. Did you see it? It had the little green thingies on it. This specimen shares genetic similarities with the common peeper. Yeah, it actually looks almost the same. This is different. While the shallows in the cave systems are separated by just a few meters of rock, foodstuffs and threats in each biome are completely different. It is possible a small school of peepers was once cut off in the caves, and the ocular species is how they adapted. They have highly developed night vision. Large complex eyeballs provide this herbivore superior vision in the dark, and an intense phobia of light. Lack of beak. Right, the peeper had a beak. While the peeper uses its beak to break down tough corals, the oculus likely feeds on the soft fungal growths of the jelly shroom caves, and thus has no need of one. Separated tail fin. The caves in which the oculus lives makes it hard to escape from fast predators. The oculus has adapted by splitting its tail fin into five separate tendrils. These tendrils prevent it from swimming as fast as its shallow water cousin, but each can be detached and regrown, enabling it to escape more easily when caught. Cool. And I can eat them. Now this one, look, it's infected. Wait. Ah! Ah! Yeah! Fuck! Go, 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 go! Are you coming for me? Huh, maybe they're not actually after me. Are you like a herbivore? Do you feed on the jelly shrooms? No. It definitely just feeded on a fish. No? That's what it looked like to me. Oh, I see more over there. Unless that is what I was exploring before. Hold on. Okay, I need to go up. I need to go up. Follow the arrows. Man, the, the limited time you have to explore because of oxygen is kind of cool, you know? It's a, it gives me a constant sense of danger. I like that. I'm in danger, and I love it. Let's go back down. You know what? Fuck it. It's time to construct a series of breathing apparatus for real. I've been saying it for ages. Now it's time. And for that, I need... What do I need? I need... Floating air pump. Titanium. Titanium. I just need titanium. Hold on. What the hell is this? Bioreactor fragment. Ah, fuck off. Wait, did I unlock it? No, one of two. Bioreactor. 
On planets where organic matter is plentiful but sunlight is not, a reliable bioreactor will frequently prove the most efficient power solution. That's exactly what I need! May be installed in any multi-purpose habitat room, chemically composts organic materials, converting them into energy over time. Accepts all plant matter from seeds and spores to moldy fruits and vegetables. <laughs> so it's a, it's a bio trash can. Can also process animal matter, fat, muscle, eggs, etc. and some organic waste products. Energy production is proportionate to the calories in the organic matter. The bioreactor. Totally organic. That's amazing. I love that. So now I... See, now I'm already deciding whether or not I should construct a series of breathing apparatus. Or if I should construct a bioreactor instead. What is this? Nothing? Maybe I already emptied that. Grab some salt. I need that for, to make water. Or bleach, I should say, which then will allow me to make water. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna steal all your metal that you've been accumulating here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I know you're angry. I know you're angry. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I wonder if they actually collected all that metal and deposited it there in a little nest. That would be so cool. Like, what are the chances that upon this thing crashing through the atmosphere, all those pieces were landing in exactly that spot, right? Pretty low. Also, we have a message. First of all, I need to make some drink. I need coral tube sample. How much salt do I have? Only one. Oh wait, I do have water. Drink, drink, drink. Let me cook a hoop fish. Nice. Eat it. Let me use one of these, may as well, free up some space. Let's make a bunch of titanium. God, the music is perfect for this game. It feels underwatery, it feels dramatic, it feels thrilling. It's hard to explain. Drives my curiosity. Let's let's play this. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Okay. They're actually coming. They're actually coming. I wonder if... Okay. Let's say I never clicked on this radio. Am I... Am I... Is the radio the way to advance the story? Like, is, is the story just on pause if I don't click on it, I wonder? Like, let's say I never clicked on this radio. Would this guy still have come for me? Would he still have detected my signal? No, I guess he wouldn't have, because if I didn't turn on the radio, I would never have been able to send a distress signal. Hmm. I don't want to advance too fast. I feel like I'm getting to learn a lot here. I don't want to go too fast with things. Let me construct a series of... You know what I mean by now. <laughs> uh, pipe. And a pipe. I don't know how many we need, but I'm going to make a bunch. Inventory full. Man, I am piping it up. Let me store some of this, t some of these teeth. I guess I can store a bunch of different things that I may not need right now. Magnetite. Fire extinguisher. I never use this. I wonder if I can, if I will ever use it again. 
Maybe things can catch fire, but also, we had an empty battery, did we not? What happened to it? You know what? I should replace the battery in this one. There we go. And then this battery, I kind of just want to throw out. Let me just throw it in the water. I know this is pollution. It is what it is. I'm sorry. The planet is big. Lots of ocean. It is what it is. I may be a little bit of a bastard doing this. But I will clean it up later. I promise. Okay. Here we go. Breathing apparatus. Check. Now I have to do this again. Boop, boop. Wait, what is this? Proposed Degacy Habitat? Wait a minute. Hold on. Um, God, where do I find... So, no... Legacy survivors? Oh! Oh, that's what that meant down here. Signal A signal tracking the site has been created. Meaning in here. I thought it meant it created a signal for him. For uh, Paul Torgel, who did this. Shit, so I can find it. Well... Guess I'm gonna do that. Where is it? This way. But hold on. Strand the nearest cave. I do want to do this first. I want to explore this. I need to take things one at a time. Otherwise, I will forget. I also need to note down things I still need to explore. Speaking of things I want to explore. I do sense a parallax, actually, on this. I, I, I want to try and go there at some point. Let me just write that. I want to say, explore the aurora. Question mark. Is it possible? I mean, if anything, they're not going to let me explore the whole thing, right? Because it's supposedly huge. But maybe they'll let me explore a little bit of it. But then again... Maybe not, because this game is an underwater game. Maybe they're not gonna actually make you run around. But then again, I do. I can run around inside my own base, so they do have animations for all that. Oh no. Hold on. Let me... Can I actually just... Exchange batteries here. Nice. That's what I want. I'm not going to be building a habitat right now. But I am going to do, and you know it, construct thingies here. Here. This is going to be the longest pipe chain ever. <laughs> Maybe you're all face palming at this point. Maybe there's a way better way of doing this, but it is what it is. I have to try it. Obviously. Um, drop. Nice, you're sucking. Suck that air. And then I put this here. Time to build pipes. Okay. Hello? Wait a minute. Why can I not attach... Wait, how does this work? How did I do this last time? 
Hả? Uh, wait a minute. Also, where am I going down? I'm going down... Let me put it strategically. So, here. Okay. It's not working. I don't know how, how I did this last time. Oh! Wait a minute. How far can I... Okay. And I can breathe from here? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. It's weird that I can't see the placement of it, though. I used to be able to do that. No? Hold on, let me try something. Let me try and save. I think it's a bug. Let me quit. And enter again. Maybe it'll fix it. Also, I'm running out of coffee. But then again, I've been drinking two cups already and it's not even 12. So, I think I'm gonna soon, after, after this episode, I'm gonna take a trip to the store, grab some candy! And grab an energy drink so I can continue this masterful Advent ah, here we go. Look, now it's working. It was a bug. Um, like that. Let's create a series of breathing apparatus up in this biatch. Sorry for swearing. It is what it is. It's a bit of a... Yeah. My OCD. Sorry. Whoa. Man, look at... How weird, it's like my thing is locking on. What the f- Okay, there are some... Weird... Bugs with this, it feels like. Unless I am just not getting it. <laughs> ah! Stop it! I'm building! Let's go further down. Ow, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone. Further down. Further up. Like this. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, no more? That's it. There's a maximum length on these. This is good enough for me though. Look how fast we can recharge air here. Science! Let's go! Totally worth it. Oh, I'm so close to the cave too. This is gonna save me so much time. Let me re-equip my Pathfinder tool. Did I put two right next to each other? I'm a silly boy. Um, okay, so there was one here. Uh, this one I did. There was one over... Let me remove that marker for now. I'm gonna come back to that. You know what? Let me do the... the a very smart thing here where I go along the side of the walls. So that way I don't miss anything. I think that's a proven technique for escaping a maze. You know, you stick to one side and you just stick to that forever. Oh my god, look at this guy. His eye is all pink. God! They're bugged. It, f it feels like... Yeah. Maybe not. Oh, what the fuck is this? Thermal vents? That's a volcanic vent, if anything. Yo! Ooh. Oh, cool! Awesome! Hold on. Cave bush! I, 
thought Bush hated caves. A purple luminescent species which grows well on hardy terrain away from sunlight. By the way, I was making a George Bush joke there, not uh, I was not making an actual uh, evaluation of bushes inside caves, because I don't know. Uh, oh, 30. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. I love my pipe system. Uh, where was it? See, I would have been dead right now if not for this pipe system. Shit, maybe I'm still dead. Oh shit, follow the light, follow the light. Six. Oh no! Three. Where is it? There, I see it. Go, 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 go! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Man, I'm feeling a strange mix of gratitude and resentment towards the water right now. In general. <sighs> okay. Back. Back we go. Okay, that's dangerous. That is really, really dangerous. So we have a thermal vent this way. Let's try the other way. I know I said stick to one side, but now I'm sticking to the other side. Seek fluid intake. I will seek it. Man, these, these things are... This is bugged. It looks weird. You know what I think? I think they're supposed to be stuck like this inside these. That's what. That's how I would program it, and then let them come out when, t when the time is right. Oh wait a minute! Is this another way out? Oh shit! No. Yeah. This is another... Look at that! What the fuck is this? Okay, I gotta explore that. Oh. I need to seek fluid intake. Do I have any fluid I can take in? Doesn't seem like it. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I'm actually happy I still have the um, bleach tracking in the top right there, because I need it right now. Fuck, where am I? I am, where's my thingy? 600 meters north, east, northeast. Pretty much east. East, northeast. I just want to say we have a wreck. Uh, so wait a minute, wait a minute, I just need to do something real quick, so like this, south, this is, so this is east, northeast, this way, it needs to be south, west, south, south, southwest, so 600 meters, south, southwest, of life pod, there. I don't want to miss this. This seems big. Look at this shit. Now I know its location. But I guess I also knew it from the cave system, so... Maybe that was just really stupid what I just did. Sir, can I scan you? Sand shark! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, stay, stay calm, stay calm! Indigenous life form. A powerful, medium-sized predator that burrows into the sand and ambushes its prey from below. That's terrifying. As with many predators, it may be possible to temporarily distract sand sharks by feeding any hungry specimens that draw close. Oh, I didn't think about that. I should totally carry around some fish just to throw at them, you know, if they get too aggressive. Maybe it will work on those snakes as well. It has a forward dorsal fin. Weird. The unusual location of this fin suggests a purpose unrelated to movement through the water. It may be employed in shifting sand beneath the surface, or in mating rituals, or may simply be an evolutionary dead end. 
a segmented exoskeleton. Thick armor plating renders the sand shark almost immune to attack from above. While it is capable of impressive acceleration, its exoskeleton prevents it from changing direction quickly. The sand shark is thus a perfectly designed ambush hunter, but ill-suited to sustained pursuits. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds of it reminds me of the German uh, planes during World War II. The what is it called? The dive planes, the ones that come from above. You know, they're they're not that maneuverable, but they're quick and they can sustain a lot of acceleration and pressure. And so what they do is they they usually fly in formation above a bomber, for example, but high above, right? And then they dive down coming from above. But they can't change direction quickly. So they're sort of committed to the path. It's a bit similar to this, I feel. And then the feet. Ill-designed for ambulation. Likely used to disturb the surface of the sand so the life form can burrow into the ground. Makes sense. Assessment avoid. Be vigilant for ambush in sandy biomes. That makes total sense. Get away from me. Get. You want a pipe? I'm gonna pipe. I, I wish I could hit it. I want to smash it with my pipe. I'm stupid. It's right next to the fucking life pot 17. How have I not noticed this before? Am I completely blind? Ah! Get away. Look at my <laughs> look at my breathing pipes. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Oh man. You know what I should do? I should build a habitat right here. This is the perfect place to build a habitat. Seek actually, I will seek fluid intake, but not immediately. Give me a second. Repair tool? That one I can... Uh... Let me remove the battery from this bad boy. Actually, let me put in an empty battery. Save some space. Put this here. And then I want to take this one. And put in a full... Let me just get some air. Oxygen. Look at these boomerangs. Boomerang children. Okay. Actually, this way I can also attach maybe one of those air pumps to the base here instead, so I can go further down with my pipe system. Can I make things? Let me make a compartment right here. Maybe like that. That looks cool. Nice. And sunlight does hit here, it seems. So, I need quartz and copper ore. I do have a flare as well still. I have to remember that. Let me use that. How do, I, how do I keep losing HP? Is it the little bastards? The little pieces of shit biting me? Probably is, huh? I need salt and I need those coral samples there. So let me go towards my life pot right now while finding that. Sand. No, not sand. Salt. I need quartz anyway. I'm going towards my life pod, but I'm finding things on the way. What is that? Oh, it's like one of those eggs. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. It seems I, I just get titanium if I scan something that I've already completed. Can I have some salt? Anyone? Hmm. I need salt. 
I should join a Dota game, man. Damn it! I don't see it. Fuck, it, do I actually... Let me save. Do I actually die if the water just... is completely empty? Uh, well, I guess I have one salt, right? I can make something happen with that. So let me exchange my... Disc finder. Pathfinder. Uh, I think it was this one. Wait, what? Lo that had to load in. Weird. That was a bit weird. Let me... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Uh, the bleach! Quick! Oh my god, I'm dying. Uh, disinfected water. Go, 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 go! Oh, I'm, I'm losing HP now. Got it. Oh. Stabilizing. Hell yeah, you're stabilizing. Okay, let's create a big ass store of food and fuck. I have a fridge, don't I? I have a fridge. I'm so dumb. I'm gonna eat all of it. Actually, let me take this with me. You know what? I'm gonna take this whole base with me. Can I? I can deconstruct everything. I'm gonna relocate this base to the other area I was just in. Deconstruct everything. Solar panel. How are we doing on space? Only three slots left. Let me drink that, drink that. Let me cook some food. Emergency power because I've removed the solar panel. Cook that shit. Cook that. This one had a low calorie, right? 18. 23. I'll take it. I also had something in here. Yeah. These pipes, I'm just gonna leave them like this again. Speaking of pipes, didn't I also let something fall earlier? There's the battery. I do believe I threw out some pipes as well at some point. Oh well. Oh well. Can I just take this entire storage container with me with everything in it? I doubt that. Sure, I don't need these spores. I, I, I mean, I don't know what to do with them yet. I hate this bug. If it is a bug, it's annoying me. But I have to uh, deactivate it and activate it again. Okay. Been going over an hour anyway. I will go to the store now, grab some snacks and some drinks, and I'll be back. And I'm gonna play this more! I fucking love this game! Thank you for suggesting this shit to me, man. This is exactly my jam. Oh, and the music hits. Uh. See you in the next. Goodbye. Ciao.